Hello and welcome to our ScanZone Roundup 2019. In this end of year special, we'll be looking back through an awesome year of product launches, news, events, competitions and advances in technology. It's safe to say that 2019 got really interesting in the CPU world, with AMD and Intel hotting up the competition. So we'll be hearing your thoughts on that a bit later, and we'll also be giving you details on how to enter our epic end of year giveaway. But first, let's delve into our 2019 calendar of events. And as ever, those of us who want to get a glimpse into what the year may bring have one eye firmly on CES, and this year did not disappoint with its mix of weird and wonderful and futuristic products such as laundry folding robots, flying taxis, shape-shifting TVs and foldable phones. But for us, it was Nvidia's announcement of its mobile version of the RTX graphics cards that made things really interesting. Laptops have really taken a step up in terms of performance this year. Streamers' favourites Elgato showcased some awesome products at the show, including the Elgato Key Lights, which instantly became a streamer favourite, plus updates to the already game-changing Stream Deck. AMD made its first ever keynote speech at CES this year, announcing they'd be launching their second-generation Vega graphics card, the Radeon 7, the world's first 7 nanometer gaming graphics card, geared up for 4K gaming at maximum settings. Although it didn't challenge rival Nvidia at the high end, it certainly showed that Team Red meant serious business. And EVGA chose CES to showcase their 2080 Ti Kingpin Edition, which would hit shelves in April. This elite graphics card was designed for maximum overclocking performance for professional overclockers and still holds many performance records on the official 3D Mark leaderboards. We benchmarked this one in the studio with our friend Jan Jonas and took it apart for a closer look so be sure to check out those videos. In February, Nvidia launched their 16 series graphics cards carrying the GTX part number rather than the 20 series RTX. This meant they lost the hardware ray tracing cores of the RTX series, but still benefited from the new Turing architecture and bumped gaming performance up from the older 10 series. Starting with the GTX 1660 Ti, the GTX 1660 followed in March, and the GTX 1650 in April, making things seriously interesting in the mid-range GPU market. Back to February and our Pro Audio team got very excited as the long-awaited Waldorf Quantum Hybrid synth landed. With an exquisite design, Quantum combines the raw power of a classic digital and analog hybrid synthesizer with futuristic sounds that are only possible with today's software synthesizers. Every year, March plays host to NVIDIA's annual GPU Technology Conference in Silicon Valley that sees the unveiling of the latest in AI and data science. This year's event saw PNY showcase our very own 3XS Quadro-based data science workstations, which were launched later in the year. 2019 saw a huge surge in demand for data science for deep learning and AI in business. For more information on our data workstations and our work in the AI field, visit our SCAN business pages on the website. March also saw us launch our brand new gaming show, Next Level. Rage Darling and Morph became the first contestants to take part in the battle of the streamers that is the Next Level Challenge. You can catch up on all four episodes on our Pro Gaming YouTube channel. And if you're a streamer or gamer with a large following and fancy your chances at the challenge, then get in touch on our Discord server. We'll leave the link in the description for you to join. Maybe I'll see you in the studio soon. Your lap was... I know, is it? One minute. Yes. 30. Hello. Eight seconds. Oh, yeah. It's our fastest ever lap of the Did track. Two records? You beat Cyborg Angel by just one Pimbles second. And cars. Not a product as such, but Nvidia released the Frames Win Games campaign in May. For the first time, conducting a study into how frames per second affect players' performance. This has huge implications for esports, where any advantage can mean the difference between winning and losing. 
As would be expected, there's a link with higher FPS, helping to increase overall performance when paired with a compatible high hertz monitor. This has spawned loads of YouTube videos testing the theory throughout the rest of the year, with Nvidia eventually sponsoring a video with Linus Tech Tips and featuring one of the most famous ex esports competitors turned streamers, Shroud. We'll be looking to create some video content on this subject in the new year, so we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments on this subject. Subjects. Moving over to our pro video department and May saw DJI give long reigning king of the action cameras GoPro a run for their money with the release of their very first action camera, the Osmo Action. Its rock steady stabilization technology, 4K 60 frames per second capabilities and dual screens are just some of the selling points of this awesome multi-purpose action cam. As we moved into the summer, one of the world's biggest computer and hardware trade events, Computex, takes place in June in Taipei. And as ever, this year brought some pretty exciting announcements. Another AMD keynote speech focused on their latest third-gen processors and the unveiling of the RX 5000 series Navi GPUs. Nvidia launched its Quadro RTX laptop graphics cards and a new RTX Studio certification program which offers extensively tested drivers for the most popular creative applications, giving maximum stability and performance. We'll be covering off more detail about this in an upcoming video, so watch out for that. Asus celebrated 30 years this year with some impressive products on display at the show, and Scans 3XS showcased their Vengeance Fluid RTX Ti powered by Asus System in the new Asus ROG Helios case. Corsair also pulled out all the stops with their new Hydro X custom water cooling range, featuring over 60 components at launch, including CPU and GPU blocks, radiators, fittings and tubing, and an easy to use configurator which makes choosing between all of the parts easier than ever. Also in June, Gamer's favourite expo E3 took place and previewed Cyberpunk 2077, getting Gamers in a spin as it showed off Nvidia's real-time ray tracing in all its glory and was introduced by a very special guest. You're breathtaking! Cyberpunk will be released in April 2020. July saw the AMD Radeon RX 5700 and 5700 XT hit our shells along with the new 7 nanometer processors, the 3rd gen Ryzen series, which would prove to be one of the most important product launches of the year. Nvidia then launched super versions of their RTX 2060, 2070 and 2080 GPUs, along with the announcements of many more ray tracing enabled games, taking advantage of the RTX tech. The most notable of which was probably Minecraft, which was completely transformed with ray tracing enabled. The third gen Ryzen launch also brought with it the launch of PCIe Express Gen 4, massively increasing the bandwidth available to graphics cards and, more importantly right now, SSDs. Several brands have now launched Gen 4 NVMe SSDs, offering up to 5GB per second read speeds, with potentially higher speeds to come. On to August, and AMD launched their second gen epic Roam range of server chips, designed for data center use and demanding workloads. Also based on their 7 nanometer process technology and breaking several performance world records in the process. This month, we also saw the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K release, building on the success of the super popular 4K version last year. If you missed the hype, you can find out more about both of these cameras and maybe even get your own at Scan Pro Video. We'll pop the links below. Our Pro Audio team were excited for two big releases in September. Roland's latest addition to its boutique range, the JU-06A Synthesizer, a nostalgic homage to Roland's famed synths of the 1980s, and Novation's flagship keyboard, the Summit, a hybrid synth 16-voice bi-timbral instrument evolved from their much-loved peak polyphonic synthesizer. The Pro Gaming team held a live stream on October the 4th with combat and survival strategy streamer Sacriel, along with Rage Darling and Cyborg Angel, where after a month of video submissions, we announced the winner of our immense Intel giveaway, worth over £4,700. Okay. Okay. So today's winner is... Batman's left. No. <laughs> Batman's left now, you've won the £4,700. Streaming setup. <laughs> oh my god! 
congratulations to Batman's left nut, or as he's now known, the bat nut, in case you're just checking out on Mixer. GoPro didn't sit still for long, releasing their new top-of-the-range GoPro in October, complete with HyperSmooth 2.0 and adding in folding fingers to the camera, meaning body mounts and accessories can now attach directly to the camera itself rather than the case. And in the audio world, Audazy launched their LCD One headphones aimed at audio engineers, music producers and studios in general, featuring their renowned planar magnetic technology in an open back, foldable and lightweight design. DJI launched their smallest and lightest ever drone in November, which opened up the drone world to a whole new audience. Weighing just 249 grams means you don't need to register it with the Civil Aviation Authority and you can stick it in your back pocket. This month, things really hotted up in the CPU world with competition between the big players helping to lower prices at the high end of the market. AMD added to their third gen Ryzen range with the Ryzen 9 3950X and their Ryzen Threadripper processors, the 3960X and the super impressive 32 core 64 thread 3970X. All three of these CPUs pretty much tore up the rulebook in the benchmarks too. Not wanting to be left behind, Intel launched its new X series chips aimed at creative professionals working in motion graphics, game development and 3D animation. The top of the stack being their Core i9 10980XE, offering 18 cores and 36 threads, and importantly, offering significantly lower pricing per core than the previous gen equivalents. Then, right at the end of the year, AMD snuck in a launch on the 12th of December with their mid-range Navi offering the RX 5500 XT doing battle with Nvidia's GTX 1650. So it's safe to say that 2019 saw the biggest competition in the CPU market to date. And we've got plenty of content over on our YouTube channel going into more detail about each product. Plus, we also produced a video comparing all of the top CPUs against each other in a range of tests. And these videos got plenty of responses from you guys. Humbug says AMD is crushing Intel right now. Cuss UK asks any chance Scan does kidney trade-ins. This CPU is incredible, but sadly way out of my financial range, referring to the AMD Ryzen 3950X. Ian Punsalan said, man, when was the last time that Intel was the budget one? Over on Twitter, at Metal Milkman says, hands down AMD. Can't beat good competition, and if they keep going like this, we'll start to see actual reasonable component prices again. In particular, you were loving their third gen Ryzen CPUs. At Chomley Warner on Twitter said it had given consumers options. Graham Short on Twitter too said that AMD have introduced some much needed competition. We've also had plenty of feedback on other products too. McGeorge of the Jungle, they're loving their WD SN750 NVMe SSD, saying it's amazing with a decent heatsink provided. Also, loads of love for Elgato products, showing the massive impacts that they're having for streamers. Reality describes the Stream Deck as phenomenal, whilst Atreo underscore, I think I've pronounced that correctly, loves their multi mount and flex arm, saying it's simple, versatile and not just for streamers. Another thing that sparked comments this year was of course our awesome competitions that we ran weekly and monthly, giving you lot the chance to win some awesome prizes all for free. excelled ourselves this year with special thanks to the brands that made this happen. Intel, Corsair, Elgato, Asus, Acer, Thermaltake, Seagate, AMD, Rulesbox, Razer, LG, EVGA, Samsung, Rockat, Yama, AK Racing, WD, Be Quiet, Deep Cool, Cooler Master, Aopen, Somfy, Optoma, HTC Vibe, Crucial, MSI, AOC, Game Max and Aerocool. Wow! This year's total topped a whopping £45,000. And fear not, as of course, we've got an epic end of year giveaway, so you too can be a winner by entering this competition for free 
and this time around the prize is worth well over two and a half thousand pounds and includes a 3XS Asus Tough gaming PC and peripherals bundle. Let's take a look at the specs in more detail. This 3XS PC features the AMD Ryzen 3800X CPU, the Asus X570 Tough Plus motherboard, and Asus Ryu AIO Cooler, plus 16 gigabytes of Corsair DDR4 memory, a two terabyte Seagate Fire CUDA 520 Gen 4 SSD, and Asus Radeon Tough RX 5700 XT graphics card, all wrapped up in an Asus Tough GT501 case. As well as this powerful PC, there's a Tough gaming monitor and peripheral set. And we've got five runner-up prizes, each worth over £500, including an AMD CPU, motherboard and SSD. Get entering now by following the Gleam link in the description and of course, a huge good luck. Well, that's all from us for 2019, but we will of course be keeping you up to date on the technology world as we venture out to all the top industry events and bring you in-depth reviews and news as well as studio interviews. And of course, we'll have another truckload of prizes to give away throughout the year. There's some exciting new products on the horizon in the world of pro video and pro audio, so get yourself subscribed to those channels and socials to stay up to date. Scan Pro Gaming will be bringing you more episodes of the fun-filled gaming show Next Level, crowning the series winner, as well as some useful how-to videos. 2020 will also be an exciting year for our business and AI team as they venture into groundbreaking projects in the world of medical research, finance, meteorology, maritime and even earth observations. So be sure to subscribe to our Scan Business channel if you're interested in that. Let us know your thoughts on 2019's tech news and what you're most excited for in 2020 and we'll see you in the new decade. Have a good one.